the song That Town. It's all about, you know, moving out of, you know, your state or your house or, or your parents' house and, and going on to bigger and better opportunities, you know, and, and if you don't take a chance, you're never, you're never, you're never going to know what's, what the outcome's going to be. So it's kind of like that. Oh, yes, yes. The spark came from me. <laughs> Actually, this is a rewrite. I did this song. I wrote this song about 15 years ago, or actually a little longer than that. And I was moving, to, making the big trip from a, from Ohio to California. You know, so this was my break to get out of that town and find better opportunity or some opportunity, let's put it that way. And, uh, and then this year I just decided to take it out of the the file and rewrite it and you because sometimes we have to change the lingo a little bit because what happened 15 years ago we're not speaking like that anymore <laughs> and so I changed some of the, the lyrics and the verses and I put it back out again and uh, it's gonna the video is coming out next month and it was really fun we it was it's like these the younger generation was getting off the bus and getting off their airplane and coming in to a party and and it inspired the younger generation. So it's uh, I got really excited about that because all the all this young generation was at this garden party that we were doing the video. So it was fun. It has to be in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Actually, that's where I do all my recording and be recording some new tunes. I'm all excited about that. It's just the hospitality, you know, there's just something about Nashville. It's all, the whole city is all about music and all, and, and tons of writers and publishers and, and it's a big festival. We love it. It's not too far from Ohio, so it's kind of like the same roots, you know. You always get inspired when you're on the road. There's different kind of characters you kind of run into, but it's, yeah, it's fun. It's exciting. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's the actual question. Yeah. Um, wow. You know, I think any positive song that comes out, you know, like Whitney Houston used to do a lot of positive tunes, you know, there was no way getting around, <laughs> you know, so I really enjoyed that. And Keith Urban's another one that has a lot of positive energy and anything that has any artist that, that writes positive messages, I'm on board with them. <laughs> Wow, that's not a good question. It's not easy. Well, you know, I think I'm writing this. Song. Actually, I do a lot of writing in the car, you know, because a lot in in Los Angeles, that's what we do. We drive a lot, and you know, I can, I, it, you know, you look out your front window and you can write about anything you can imagine out there in Los Angeles. So I do a lot of that, and plus the driving, and and um, so I get a lot of creative ideas, and then I go home and write it down. But I think my downtime is. I put that pen down and I go take a hike or I go to, to the gym and do some kickboxing and that's kind of where I, I breathe a little bit to get out of the music scene a little, you know. It's just, I don't know, that kind of just fills my soul in a different way. Well, there's a few of them, of course, because I have children too. And uh, Make a Wish Foundation. I mean, I do a lot of that also for the homeless. You know, um, we do a lot of fundraisers for that. But what's really dear to my heart is animals, and you know, dogs and cats. But right now we have a lot of cats. <laughs> I'm a terrible foster mom. <laughs> I break all the rules and I keep them. <laughs> I get too many. I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you on TV. <laughs> but um yeah and actually my husband works for a clinic it's called fix nation and uh we just had an event i think education is a big thing you know you have to go out and do a lot of research i mean i was so impressed with one of the athletes that came back from the olympics you know and he rescued i can't remember he rescued like 20 or 30 dogs and he brought them into the united states because you know of the situation over there so i mean that when you see stuff like that you know you got to get involved you got to educate yourself because you know it's, it's so sad you know to watch these poor babies you know the, the cruelty it's not fair to them but to educate 
education is big, and 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 you got to search it. You know, you got to ask people. You got to get involved. You know, I mean, because you go to Humane Society. You know, if you don't ask questions, they're not going to kind of tell you. You have to do it yourself and go out there and do a lot of research. <laughs> we did a video for Fix Nation for their benefit, and it was all about the cats and there's the cats partying on the beach, having a good time. <laughs> but uh, uh, I haven't really wrote a song about the animals. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> The Music Mom. Yeah. I put it together like about 10 years ago. And it's just a blog for people to go on there and share, you know, about, you know, it's about being a parent, you know. It's, you could be a, a, a mom or a dad and you're a musician. And it's, you know, you want to share the ideas. You know, you travel on the road and you're trying to have this career, but you want to have your kids and you want to do, be able to do. So it's kind of just sharing, you know. Sometimes we'll come up with ideas like, okay, we're going to do a road trip. And what songs are going to be playing in the car, you know, for the kids, you know. And so they're learning about music too. So it's just a place that everybody gets to go and share. And, you know, gives you know, like some ideas, you know. And, and you learn from each other. Absolutely. It's all about balance, yeah. I mean, that's all we can do, you know. <laughs> and we can learn from each other because it's not easy raising children and going out there in any career. Matter of fact, you know. Um, the video is coming out in September. I have another new single coming out. Um, that's going to be later in September. And then I come back from Nashville and I have some shows coming up. I have Raw Artist that's at the House of Blues over there in uh, San Diego, LA Music Awards in November, and then I'm doing a big seminar for film and TV, you know, doing showcases. So I have quite a bit, you know, I'm always on doing something. <laughs> Oh, the rejection is terrible. <laughs> um, I think I was very surprised when I got to, not to put down Nashville, but when I got surprised because on the radio charts, it's mostly men. And, you know, that was a hard barrier to break through. But the more I went to Nashville and the more I got to know the people and, and networked and all that kind of stuff, it helped me push through. But it was a hard, that was tough because, you know, you're going up against a chart with, you know, 50 artists and maybe there's like a handful of women, you know, so that was hard, but now they're starting to change. You know, you just got to keep on going, you know, and it's hard, you know, those rejections come and you, and I always had in the back of my mind was, okay, I know there might be 10 this week rejections, but maybe that just wasn't for me. So I just kept on moving up, moving forward. It's not easy. <laughs> That's why I go to the gym and kick the box back. <laughs> Well, always follow your dreams and be true to yourself. But please learn the music business because it goes hand in hand. You know, we, we get so excited with the creativity stuff. And then, you know, we get it all done. And then, oh, now what do we do? <laughs> please learn the business then because it'll help you in the long run. Totally. Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and my website, EileenCarey.com. That's E-I-L-E-E-N-C-A-R-E-Y.com. Uh, let's see. What else? Reverb Nation. Uh, you can Google my name, iTunes, CD Baby, and the, all that stuff. <laughs>